So here we have something a little more awkward. You know, we don't have super, super, super easy numbers, but we can still find it here. Because when we try to take a look, everybody, can we simplify two over seven? Is that possible? Yeah, two over seven, you can't really simplify that. These are both prime numbers. Can do that. Don't have factors there. We could just straight up go cross multiplication and division. We could two times X, two X, seven times 10, that's 70. But now we have to go ahead and divide both sides by two. I'm trying to get to X. So I can try going left to right, or I can try going top to bottom. Everybody, first, you tell me, is there an easy whole number that can get me from two to seven? Is there an easy whole number that I can multiply two by to get to seven? No, there isn't. There's not a whole number that I can use. So instead, let me try the other way. Instead of trying to go from top to bottom, which I knew I couldn't find a comparison, let's try going left to right. So let's take a look up top with the numbers that are actually there. We have two and we're trying to get to 10. My party people, how do I go from two and get to 10? Remember your two options are multiplication or division and then give me a number. I see a lot of us throwing five in there, but be specific. Am I dividing by five or am I multiplying by five? There we go, yep. This specificity, being specific here is really gonna help you out in the future. So in this circumstance here, we can multiply starting from two, we can multiply by five to get to 10. So again, two times five gives us 10. That's how I found out that five times five is the comparison from left to right. So what does this mean? This means that if I'm gonna go times five from left to right on the top, it is gonna be times five left to right on the bottom. Let me go ahead and actually point this out right here. Right there and right there, it's the same comparison. It's the same comparison in the same direction. Same comparison in the same direction. That's what makes this so convenient. Because everybody, now that we found the comparison up top, we know it's the same comparison on the bottom. Help me out everybody, what's seven times five? 35, booyah right there. X equals 35, and we didn't have to go through everything that we went through over here. We didn't have to. We didn't have to because we found the convenience in terms of the comparison.